Welcome to Now You Know, a video series where I answer all of your wellness questions. Today's question, how can I make healthier choices on keto? First, let's talk about what the keto diet is. It's a high fat, moderate protein, very low carb diet. The amount of carbs people eat varies, but it usually is 50 grams or less per day. So this means giving up white sugar and white flour, but also cutting out healthier carbs like whole grains, beans, lentils, and some types of fruits and starchy vegetables. Meals generally consist of moderate amounts of protein, non-starchy vegetables, and lots of added fats. Typically, your body breaks down carbs as its preferred fuel source. But on a keto diet, you're eating not that many carbs. So your body has to switch to start breaking down fats and turn those into ketones for energy. Using ketones for energy is called ketosis. Strict followers will test their blood to make sure they're in ketosis while following the diet. Let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros. Beyond the keto flu, which is lightheadedness, fatigue, constipation, nausea, headaches, research suggests no significant negative consequences, at least in the short term. Many people following a keto diet may feel less hunger and cravings, which may make it easier to follow than other diet plans. The cons. There are no studies outlining the diet's long-term side effects, but some concerns include nutrient deficiencies because the diet's so limited, also, there may be possible changes in the healthy gut bacteria because of the limited types of fiber on the plan. Bottom line, while it may help people lose weight, it's not much better than other diets. Research suggests that after one year, a keto diet leads to about the same results as other diets. But if someone wants to try the keto diet, it's important to do it right and always check with your healthcare provider before changing your eating pattern. If you are following a keto diet, here's how to fix three keto mistakes. Mistake one, too much protein. This is not a high protein plan. In fact, too much protein can prevent going into ketosis. So keep portions of chicken, beef, pork, and eggs moderate. Mistake number two, too much animal fat. Be picky about the types of fat. Don't just eat bacon, mayo, and butter. Choose healthy fats like nuts, seeds, avocado, olives, olive oil, coconut oil, and fish. Mistake number three, not enough vegetables. The foundation of making keto as healthy as it can be is having a wide variety of non-searchy vegetables at all meals and snacks, like spinach, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, green beans, and zucchini, and add some low-carb fruits and berries in there too. And finally, here's a pro tip. Consider adding these supplements to round out the plan prebiotics and probiotics, because these may help offset the changes that occur to the gut bacteria when following this diet, and a multiple vitamin, because anytime that you're gonna change your plan, take out food groups, it's important to get a baseline of nutrients back in. 